Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Nagaland Health Department has clarified that there is no makeshift hospital being set up at Christian Institute of Health Sciences and Research, CIHSR, Dimapu. This was informed by Principal Secretary Amartip Singh Padia during a press conference held yesterday at Kohima. Padia said the concept of a makeshift or field hospital was not considered suitable as it is a very temporary facility and could not be set for future use. He said with emergent requirement of ICU and oxygen supported beds for COVID patients, it was envisaged to create a hospital facility in the shortest possible time as a regular hospital would ordinarily take a minimum of two to three years. According to the proposal for a pre-engineered hospital at CISHR, with the most modern acute care facilities was considered, Padia added. He also said the hospital will be completed in a few weeks' time after obtaining the necessary approvals. Padia said in view of the emergency, approvals for the hospital has been fast-tracked by invoking the provisions of the Disaster Management Act 2005. He said the guaranteed life of the building will be 20 years and can last much longer with proper care and maintenance. Padia further informed that the initial proposal of the hospital was for 176 beds. However, it has been expanded to 200 beds by including a 24 pediatric ICU ward. Principal Secretary said the hospital would also function as a full fledged acute care hospital to deliver high quality tertiary care post pandemic. The proposed 200 bedded facilities envisaged to have 108 ICU beds, including 24 pediatric ICU beds, 88 HDU beds, 4 dialysis beds and 4 for emergency and OBT for physical digital dispensary for daily medicine. Community Health Centre Medzefema has been declared as COVID care centre. The centre will be equipped with 20 bedded facilities. Speaking at the declaration program yesterday, Nodal Officer for COVID-19 Dimapu District, Y. Kiketo Sema, appreciated the systematic arrangement made in the centre. He also emphasized on the need for three C's, cooperation, coordination and contribution for fighting corona. Senior Medical Officer CHC Medzifema, Dr. N. Sezo said the centre will initially start with 20 beds and also informed that mother and child ward will continue to be operational besides taking care of road accident cases. Dr. Sezo further said that the Army personnel have agreed to look after the OPT cases. As a mark of respect to former President and former Prime Minister of Mauritius, Anirudh Jagnod, Government of India has decided that there will be one day state mourning today throughout India. Jagnod passed away on Friday. The national flag will be flown at half mast throughout India on all buildings where the national flag is flown regularly and there will be no official entertainment today. General Manager of National Highway Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited, NHIDCL, based at Mugukchung District, BD Jankate, has been arrested in a primary case by Mugukchung police. In a press note, Superintendent of Police Mugukchung stated that the arrest was made on receipt of FIR filed by Deputy Commissioner on June 2nd, connecting to a video of Jan Kate where he was seen demanding a cut to 1% as his share in every contract work executed by contractors. Subsequently, a case has been registered at Police Station 1 upon the arrest of the accused on June 2nd. The accused has been booked under relevant section of the Indian Penal Code. During the preliminary investigation, it was established that he was in charge of Mugukchung Zinoputo Woka Longling Mon in a part of Kohima district since 20th of January 2019 for execution of road construction in the state. Nagaland reported 147 positive cases of COVID-19 yesterday. Of the cases reported, 53 were detected from Timapu, 47 in Kohima, 19 from Tuensang, 5 each in Peck and Zonobodo, 4 in Mokokchung, 2 from Longleng, and 1 each from Peren and Woka. Total recovered cases have gone up to 16,637 with a recovery of 148 patients, while total deaths have mounted up to 416 with report of 12 death cases. Currently, there are 22,387 total cases, while 4,695 are active cases.
And in the wake of COVID-19, we appeal to our listeners not to lower their guard and stay safe and protected by following these four simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene and get vaccinated. For providing COVID-related information and guidance to the people, national helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and state helpline numbers 700-5539-653 and 1800-345-0019 are operational. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.